So there are some special graphs that you need to be aware of and need to be able to show. Um, and these represent specific lines. So let's say I've got, um, I look at these coordinates. And what you need to think about is what do they all have in common? So if I write down some of the coordinates, well that's 2 minus 3, and that's 2 minus 1, and 2 minus 2, and that one's 2, 0, and that one's 2, 1, etc. Okay? So what do they all have in common? Well, before, I told you that coordinates are written as x, y. The x coordinate and then the y coordinate. And if I look at all of these coordinates, they all have the same x coordinate. So they describe this straight vertical line just in this way that they all have the same x coordinate, x equals 2. And so this line has the equation x equals 2. Okay, so if I plot that, then coming up in red, you can see x equals 2, that is the line, that, that is the equation that describes that line. So if I then had um, some other points, let's say these, It doesn't really take too much thinking about to think that if that was x equals 2, then all of these points have the same x-coordinate as well. And they all have the same x-coordinate, and the x-coordinate is minus 4. So that must be the line x equals minus 4. Okay, so let's see x equals minus 4. Here it is. Okay, so x equals minus 4 is this vertical line. So that must mean that if x equals minus 4 is there, then x equals minus 3 must be there. x equals minus 2, x equals minus 1, x equals 0, x equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So that must mean that x equals something represents a vertical line. Now, if I then look at a horizontal line, so let's say I look at this one, here is a horizontal line. Let's do the same thing, let's have a look at each of the coordinates. This has coordinates minus 5, 3. This has coordinates minus 4, 3. This has the coordinates minus 3, 3. That's minus 2, 3. Minus 1, 3. 0, 3. Etc. Okay? So all of these coordinates along this line have exactly the same y coordinate. They all have y coordinate 3. So we could say, well, that line must be y equals 3. Okay? Let's see that on our graph, y equals 3, okay, coming up in purple, so y equals 3 is this line, so all, it has all the coordinates along it that have coordinates with the y coordinate being 3. So in a very similar way, if I now just draw a line, like uh, this one, Draw it all the way to the edge. Then that is a horizontal line going through minus 1. If that was y equals 3, then this one should be y equals minus 1. So that's y equals minus 1, y equals minus 2, y equals minus 3, y equals minus 4, y equals 0, y equals 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. So if x equals something is a vertical line, y equals something is a horizontal line. So if I just tell you 
to draw x equals 3 or y equals minus 4, you should be able to draw it. You should be able to identify that which is vertical, which is horizontal. Just think that, you know, you can plot points as I've done if you like. And think about whether it's vertical or horizontal and draw it in the correct place. So this is quite an important task that leads on to drawing diagonal lines. And that's what we'll be doing next.